When you have inserted your picture, you're going to create a new layer so that you can create all of your contour lines on that one layer. If your photo is a little bit darker, you can lower the opacity of that layer so that you can see your contour lines a little bit easier. Once you have finished drawing all of your contour lines, you can zoom in and make sure that you have all of your lines refined, making sure all lines are connected and are nice and neat. Now you are ready to color. You're going to create another layer underneath your selfie layer for your base colors of all of your patterns. Be sure to use the pencil tool to apply all of your colors and not the paint bucket tool. When choosing colors for your hair, stick with a simple pattern of three colors. You're going to use the one color but different values of that color, so a lighter or a darker. You can use one accent color if you'd wish. Continue painting inside of all of your lines until your entire selfie is colored in, except for your background. Now it's time for the fun part. You're going to use this selection tool so that once you have all of those colors selected, you continue doing the same pattern in all of the colors that are chosen. You can also use the drawing mode of the straight line to create some really easy stripe. Also notice when doing polka dots, make sure you go off of your selection so that you only have half of your polka dot showing. It will make it really interesting. If you're going to create a shape in your pattern, don't forget about the clone stamp. It will duplicate your shape wherever it is selected. You may also decide that you would like to outline some of the shapes or the stripes in your patterns, just like Romero Brito. You do not have to fill in all of your colors with patterns. In fact, leaving some of these empty spaces will help to balance off your drawing and make it more complete. The final step in this process is to create a background. I would suggest either creating a monochromatic background, like the one that you see here, or you can stick to three simple patterns that repeat in the background. Have fun!